Hello everybody. Thanks for tuning in to this video. In this video of the casual camping series, we're going to talk about the improvised pillow. See, when people go camping, they have an impression, especially beginners, right? Not people who do this as a passion or as a, you know, like a long time hobby, but for newbies, they tend to think of pillows as this thing, right? This big pillow that they expect to take with them on a camping trip. And that is fun and games when you're in car camping or you got a van, a big car to carry stuff. But if you're backpacking, this is not your option, okay? What you need to think about are alternatives. And these alternatives are great because they save you money. They can save money, weight, stress, because the more you know, the less you need. So I want to show you real quickly some alternatives you can use um, as a pillow when sleeping instead of actually having to go out and buy one. Okay, first, look at this. Mind you, this is just improvising. Mm, this is not like a defined list. This is more about helping you improvise and think about what you would like. So this is a two meter by roughly two and a half meter British Basha tarp. And I have it in this stuff sack. And this can be used as a pillow. It does work. Uh, for a guy my size, I find that it's a little smaller, but it is rolled up. It's in a convenient sack. It's not too, you know, the material and all is not that uncomfortable. Another one, let's check these out, knee pads. This sounds totally crazy, but I got this idea from a guy on the internet called uh, Adam Francis from Equip to Endure. And he talked about how he liked to use knee pads when going camping. And I can tell you, I've had to use these in the military for uh, our FTXs when sleeping overnight. It works. It truly does work. You get the right ones, it has a very nice wide cushion open, it will be a comfortable pillow for you. It's really awesome. You can use things like folded clothes, okay? Uh, one thing I like to use, I have a hammock. It's kind of big and fluffy. So what I do is, I've used that for a pillow. Works great. Now, if you want to make a mix of, say, a conventional pillow in your pillowcase, here's what you can do. You can take your favorite clothes that you have on your camping trip, like in your jacket you're not using, a change of pants, where you can fold them up, and you could put them inside your pillowcase here. There are companies that do actually make, like, camping pillowcases. They're, like, half this size. But I'm just using the pillowcase off my bed. And what that does is, it helps keep your clothes clean in case you're dirty, like say you're sweaty. It also helps, you know, um, keep them compact and together. Because if you just stack like a shirt on top of a pair of pants, through the night they will shift and you'll find like your pants or something over here and your shirt over here. So, you know, by using the pillowcase, it keeps it together. And some people like it, you know, it's a psychological thing. It makes them feel like they got a real pillow, so it works for them. So anyway, those are just some ideas, you know, again... The point is not to exactly copy, but just to think, because, heck, I've used backpacks as pillow before. You get the right backpack with the right stuff in it, it'll make a fine pillow too. So just think about what you got laying around, think about what you're taking on a trip, use those for pills instead of spending all this money and time carrying something like this, and save this for your house. Thanks for watching. Out.